There are so many of these movies that I'm starting to forget which one this even is and what happens in it. Honestly, it's a near pointless rehash sequel. I was pretty bored throughout, annoyed by the teenage characters and the decision to kill off Rachel from the last movie. She was one of the better characters. The runic parts in The Man in Black were super interesting and now reading about the cut footage of him, which I tend to check out, I think it's either on deleted scenes or it's been released online somewhere, makes me wish that had been in the cut of the film. The last 15 minutes of this are incredibly thrilling and save it from a lower rating. And I hope we ultimately get a longer, almost producers-like cut of this one one day, akin to Halloween 6, and it could really make it better than what it is. Because right now it's just kind of so-so. The cast remains committed and there was some strong cinematography in this one, but it also has the feeling of just Michael Myers getting revenge for the last movie, which is why it's called The Revenge of Michael Myers. And knowing what happens later, with some spoilers, the scene where Jamie gets Michael to take his mask off and you see the tear come down his face was the first moment he was ever humanized. And you can feel sorry for him knowing he was controlled after watching the Halloween 6 producer's cut, almost in a way. We'll talk about how that film handles it. I think Jamie is a likable protagonist. I don't know if they dive enough into what happens at the end of Halloween 4 to really pay off that ending and how crazy and shocking it was and how thematically compelling it was as like a in terms of like a poetry angle of her becoming the next Michael. There's a psychic connection here and they don't explain that. They don't even explain that in the next movie. It's brushed to the side, glossed over. And I feel like Michael's mask was a little bit better here because I didn't mention it in my written review, but I remember being better. I don't remember any of the kills. I just remember being annoyed that everybody from the last movie who made it gets killed off and that frustrated me. I'm a big fan of that finale. When I was a kid, this was the first portion of a Halloween film I think I ever saw was those last 15 minutes when Michael's chasing Jamie around the house. He gets put in prison and then you see the man in black show up and Michael escapes and Jamie just cries knowing the terror that he's out there again. I love that. I think it sets up Halloween 6 quite perfectly. Not the theatrical cut, but the producer's cut. And I'm, I'm really happy with how it pays off later on. It's intriguing. I wish we had more of those scenes. But ultimately, the rest of the film is really forgettable. I give Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, 2.5 out of 5 stars. This one has potential. So release the Halloween 5 Man in Black cut. It's a long hashtag, but it works. Follow me on Letterboxd and remember, always look for the good as we eventually finish all of these movies.